we're back <laughs> i know we have been gone for a minute we have been making you guys wait and we apologize for that but we are back with some more videos and hopefully you enjoy this one because um it's it's pretty good it's a pretty good find pretty good haul so make sure to stick around um but yeah we've been gone we've been busy we've been fixing the vault the vault has been <laughs> in the shop again but yeah this time it was a catalytic converter and oh my goodness just we are in california and let me just tell you guys they have some strict emissions laws over here and our catalytic was like almost four thousand dollars so that's just crazy because i think um other states they have them at a more reasonable price so we've been dealing with that and then also you know just busy with the kids summer off um you know our daughter's been getting ready for college so we've been getting all that stuff ready and just spending time with them before they go back um but now everything is kind of situated and ready to go again for some dumpster diving and we want to give a big shout out huge shout out to all of our members thank you so much for your support each and every month we want to give a special shout out to donna mitchell who has been a member of our channel for one year now and she is also a member of our other channels scrapping revolt and our voiceless vault diving so thank you thank you thank you all of you guys any new members as well thank you so much so if you guys are new to the channel we do some scrapping and a percentage of our scrap money does go to st jude's children's research hospital and as well as other donations that we will be showing you right now. Okay, so the dumpster may be empty, but they left this out for someone to find. So, thank you. Perfectly good. They even have the little rocks in the bag still. So, that was good. And as you saw, a little donation clip. So, we don't get to show you guys everything, but we try to when we can. <laughs> that is a lot of juice. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of juice. I love when we find this stuff because even though, you know, it may be close to the Best Buy date or even, you know, a day or two after, a few days after, it's still good. I mean, we took all of this and right away put it in coolers and we just knew that there's going to be people wanting this stuff so uh, we were not able to put it in the blessing boxes but we do have several people that we donate to some families individuals and yeah they put in a request for this so it was very good <laughs> very heavy and as you can see our purple bag is still alive it's still helping out so thank you again valerie knight She's a subscriber who donated this bag to help out with uh, with the donations, with the you know dumpster diving, all of the stuff that it goes to. So thank you again. And I'm telling you, these things are heavy. So these bags, they are built to last. 
We have received questions about the bags too, what Mr. Volt uses. So I believe everything should be in the description below. But yeah, we got these from Amazon, the other ones. And they're like uh, nylon laundry bags. They work great. There's even some lemonade bottles over there too. And Mr. Volt, he likes to go in and then just bring everything out at that spot right there. So it just makes it easier, you know, when he's putting it in the bag, trying to take it out and just loading all of this up and trying to bring it out of the dumpster. It just, it gets heavy. <laughs> I'm telling you. And he forgot his totes that day. I believe he had them like, I think he was probably using them for something else. So otherwise he, you know, he would have put them in the totes too. But I mean, the bags, they're still working good. So we use what we can, what we have. And not a bad score. Some Minute Maid orange juice. Some lemonade. And a couple little kids items, which we did check these very thoroughly, okay? So if you find something like this, you need to make sure that it is in excellent condition, obviously you know, for water purposes. But we did use it, we did check it out, and it's, it was great. <laughs> More drinks. <laughs> this is like a, a drink video right here with some V8 sparkling water. This stuff right here was so good. Like, I would actually pay money for this stuff. Some pineapple mango juice. Oh my goodness. Love it. <laughs> I often say that uh, dumpster diving is like a free sample. Some stuff you find and you're just hooked on it. And that pineapple coconut drink too. Pina colada. Uh, yeah, that one was good too. I am not a huge fan of coconut, but I will tell you that that drink was really good. So again, this stuff, you know, we brought it back. We have our fridge, we have a couple mini fridges, we have coolers. So everything gets wiped down, cleaned, put away, you know, in the fridge and then we put aside stuff that we keep and then we also have stuff that we donate or save for other people like I mentioned and I'm telling you if you do some dumpster diving you need to have like some friends or family that are willing to help you out with some of this stuff because if you do it like on a regular basis you're gonna find a lot of stuff For the most part, we do try to go on trash days when we know that it's going to get picked up. So we don't really, you know, feel too bad if we take as much as we can because we know that most of it is going to get donated. And we do try, like I said, to go before the trash trucks come. So we know that, you know, whatever we take is going to be saved from the landfill and put to use. But we do have places that we're able to donate to and people that we, like will ask for this stuff like i mean we have people that ask for dog food we have people that ask for juices you know for fruits or veggies or for like snacks different things so we know that whatever we find is going to have a place to go You know, and I'm sure if you guys have some wildlife creatures, some animals that, you know, can eat all this stuff too, you know, people can take that too, but we don't. So we're not able to take everything, but 
we take what we can and oh my goodness a pack of six for these popcorn bags go for like 26 something dollars <laughs> that's crazy but they were just all thrown out i mean we did check them and they were about i'd say three weeks before the best buy date you know for the most part um there was a couple that were closer but yeah it was like they're still good <laughs> they still got air in them you gotta check these bags like chips popcorn whatever if they're deflated just i actually don't even get it really i mean i don't know but these are not and we hardly ever find like bags of chips or anything like that that's like deflated and old or anything like that so we did sample some and they are very good there's a couple different flavors Mr. Volt is getting his boxes ready. Let's see. How many boxes do you think is going to fill up? Just like a guess <laughs> right now before you see the reveal. But let us know in the comments how many boxes do you think Mr. Volt is going to find in here full of popcorn. Popcorn bags because I have no... I have no idea how many individual bags there are. <laughs> I didn't count, but you know, we like our counting games, but I'd say, um, yeah, how many of these boxes do you think he's gonna fill up when he's all done with his dumpster? Because I'm just, you know, spoiler alert, these bags filled up the blessing boxes. Super full. And look at, not even close to the expiration best buy date when these are found. Mr. Bull is getting full on that box. It was like a single bag of chips, Nicki Minaj chips. <laughs> that was the only one I think that was like from June. I believe the rest were all like August. Like the middle or end of August. But there you go, we got one full. Let's see how much more is in there. Hiding beneath all of this stuff. I think this dumpster just, it just beat up Mr. Volt. He was sore after so much and yeah these these places right here um i think because okay we kind of like have an idea of the places that we go to so this one right here they're a little bit more strict you know um so otherwise mr Volt would have just jumped in and probably gone through it like that um but you have to like kind of think about where you're at and how the people are right there so he didn't want to like just jump in, but uh, yeah, he was able to get leave all of them. <laughs> There's still more back there, hiding. Oh my goodness. The things Mr. Wolf does to get some popcorn. And this was a lot of popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, I think we just kept like a few bags and everything else was donated so yeah especially right now i mean i was actually surprised that the blessing box had some food in it because lately it has been super empty i mean it's like it's sad how empty it's been so you know hopefully people are getting some food and you know we're just not catching it like that but when you see it these boxes have been cleaned out and sometimes i just see like a single can of peas. So what do we have here? We're on the third box already. No, he's gonna he's gonna combine them, so we need to maximize our space over here. So this is gonna be like a full second box. Yeah, 
because if you just throw everything in i mean it takes up more space so we're able to fit more into you know what we can by arranging them a little bit so let's see one two and a third box there's still more <laughs> i mean i already know how many boxes there's gonna be but let us know in the comments what you think because <laughs> There's just more and more bags in here. It's like the never any dumpster. Let me get that big box out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness so um yeah i don't know if we're gonna show that in another video or not i don't know if mr Walt has a clip of it but we have some so many blinds curtain rods all kinds of stuff that we're working on too so yeah that's been taking a lot of time going through all this stuff but um yeah in case you guys don't know i mean we do sell some of the stuff that we find obviously not the food you know, and stuff. We keep what we keep and then we donate the rest. Um, but we do sell some stuff occasionally. I mean, we do have to pay for gas and bills. Uh, so, if anybody is interested in some really nice curtain rods, um, some blinds, I still have to go for the blinds, but yeah, just let us know and we'll get you guys a really good deal. I mean, we do have to charge for shipping. But um, yeah, we have like, I'd say like, probably like two pallets full of curtain rods, blinds, and window treatment accessories <laughs> that we are working through right now. So that, anything that, you know, is, is sold like that is going back, you know, for us to be able to keep doing this. So you guys can check out the description box below for any links. And we do give a good discount. So if you guys let us know, you know, that you guys want something, then we will hook you up with that. How many boxes now? One, two, three, four? <laughs> And there's still more. And all of this stuff is just buried down there. I'm telling you, like, it really got Mr. Volt. So. Yeah, I know that we're taking all of it, but we are taking all of it and donating, like, 99% of it. So, anybody... You know, to say that we don't leave anything behind. Sorry, but we do donate all of the stuff. So, yeah, Mr. Volt is also doing a service by jumping in and out and hurting his ribs. But there you go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and as you can see, this blessing box. There was some food in there, so I was surprised at that, but the rest... And of course, give what you can, take what you need, and on to the next one. So, super full, and I know these will be gone very fast. Thanks for coming along with us and seeing some of our dumpster diving videos slash donations. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, stick around for some more videos, and of course, have a great day. Bye.